So I have two nice sips here. And it's not because I'm so obsessed with the scent that I just had to have two. But I ordered Frost Mint and I got sent Night Sip by mistake. And then when I called customer service, they sent me out a new lotion. But it was Night Sip again. So I'm just going to have to go in store and exchange these for Frost Mint. But this scent is actually not bad at all. I did smell it. This scent is definitely a fruity, woody, fresh fragrance. It is way, way better than I expected, expected it to be. The funny thing is looking at the notes, you would never know that this is a fruity scent because the notes are champagne bubbles, violet, and cedarwood. The only thing I get from this fragrance is the cedarwood. The champagne, I mean, I don't find it too bubbly to my nose. And the violet, I guess it's slightly, it's slightly powdery. I do find this scent to match the packaging perfectly. If you look at it, it's like a nightscape type type packaging. It's nice and purple. This scent is, I would describe as dreamy. It's very pretty. It's very dreamy, very pretty. It's definitely a floral scent. Uh, but like I said, this is I find this to be a fresh, fruity, woody scent overall. It does have a little bit of like a fresh, chilly green note. So I don't know if that's the sandalwood or if it's got an extra note of pine that's just not listed because it's quite clear that champagne, violet, and cedarwood are not the only notes because this is classified as a fruity scent. All right, next up we have Vanilla Amber Bourbon. And y'all, this one took me on a little ride. I was the most excited to receive this. I missed out on Bare Vanilla Lux last year. The funny thing is I have not ordered. <laughs> I've not ordered from Victoria's Secret according to the app since December of 2022. So I, I have been out of the loop. Even then, I did not order body care. I ordered a robe. So this was my first Victoria's Secret purchase since December. So I was really excited to get this vanilla amber bourbon scent. And the notes to this one are vanilla amber and smooth bourbon and orchid. Now, when I first put this on my hands, I was like, what in the heck? It was so medicinal. It was literally giving just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Like it was thick. It was syrupy like molasses. It was very dark. And it just reminded me of like, it literally smelled like blackberry syrup to me. And I was like, dude, I know. Like they mixed up my vanilla amber bourbon with the blackberry santal when I know they did. Like, this is not correct. This is not right. The more I smelled it, the more I realized that was the bourbon. So then of course I had to Google what bourbon actually was like I know it's a brown alcohol but like what on earth is bourbon so when I googled it it's like it's a type of whiskey and I was like okay that's why it smells so syrupy sweet whiskey's kind of like honeyed it's real like real sugary but it's made with 51% corn syrup I'm like okay that's why I'm getting molasses because it's corn syrup <laughs> but it really smells really good once it dries down that bourbon only lasts for like a minute or so. Once it settles into your skin, y'all, this is like marshmallowy and like caramel. It is so good. The bourbon is very off-putting, but this is so good. I'm not sure if I'm going to get the mist. Victoria's Secret mist, they, I feel like the lotions are stronger. I feel like the the body creams at Bath and Body Works are stronger than the fragrance mist. The same can be said with Victoria's Secret. So sometimes I'm just kind of like, eh, with Victoria's Secret. That's why I don't shop there as much. Um, not because I don't like their scents, but just because like I, they're not really the most moisturizing, which doesn't matter because I layer them anyway. But I only really stick to the vanillas because everything else, the fruit does not sit well with my body chemistry. I haven't bought a lotion from Victoria's Secret since 2021. So I feel like the consistency of these lotions have really changed. So yeah, I definitely recommend this scent. And please, if you are put off by the bourbon note like I am, just give it a few seconds to dry down. And that like 
marshmallowy, drizzled, and caramel scent will set in. It really smells like a caramelized marshmallow, and I get whiffs of it all day. Speaking of caramel, we have Velvet Petals Candied, and I do have to say that this scent was not what I expected it to be, but just looking at the notes, caramel, nutty praline, glazed petals, I was really expecting something different, and I would never have been able to live with myself, even after seeing some people get these early, I would not have been able to live with myself if I didn't just try it out for myself, because these notes are absolutely irresistible to me. So look at this packaging. It is so pretty. The camera's not doing it justice. That's the lighting. I think it's too much sun, but anyway. So this scent is very bright and fruity. Definitely get that floral note. I did pick up on a nuttiness, but if you're familiar with the original Velvet Petals, that one has an almond glaze note, if I'm not mistaken. So I was not sure if I was just getting the original DNA to Velvet Petals or if I was actually detecting some of that nutty praline. Now, this scent is very shampoo-y. I actually really like this. And that may be an unpopular opinion at this point because I don't really see anybody liking this. or I don't really see anybody picking this up from the store and actually liking it. But I actually like it. It's very warm. It's very shampoo-y. Um, I'm probably going to try to wear this with Honey Wildflower from Bath and Body Works because that was a very warm shampoo-y scent that has more of like a honeyed note to it. I would say you'll probably like this if you like Viva La Juicy. I don't think they smell alike, but it's like the same kind of like fragrance family. Viva La Juicy. Y'all know y'all love y'all some Viva La Juicy. That one has caramel, vanilla, and praline in it. And I don't smell any of those. The original Viva La Juicy is very bright and fruity and shampoo-y just like velvet petals candied so definitely do not sleep on her go and check it out it really is better than it's it the credit that is being given like it needs more credit it needs more credit it's not warm it's not gooey it's not de decadent it's not a delicious scent it is a bright fruity floral shampoo-y sweet fragrance all right, this next one is from Pink. It is bubbly, warm, and cozy. The notes are fizzy raspberry, creamy, vanilla, and cotton candy. Um, and to be honest, I probably would not have gotten both bubbly, warm, and cozy and velvet petals candied if I would have known that they would kind of be... They're not... They don't smell alike, okay? But they're both very fruity and bright, and just they have like the same feeling to them, except warm and cozy feels a little more bubblier, a little more fun, a little more playful. But you definitely get a lot, a lot, a lot of that fizzy, effervescent raspberry. That's the most dominant note. And then the creamy vanilla comes through. And the cotton candy, I would say that's just the original warm and cozy DNA. When that cotton candy comes through, which it takes a little while, it takes about 10, 15 minutes. And then you get hit with that original warm and cozy DNA, which if warm and cozy, the original doesn't smell much like cotton candy to you, then you're definitely not going to discern it as cotton candy. But this is a really nice scent. She is the life of the party. She is very bubbly in personality, very bright, very fruity, very fun. And I feel like the fizzy raspberry reminds me of the sparkly kind of raspberry note of champagne sprinkles, except warm and cozy, bubbly smells like pixie dust, not pixie dust. Lord, look at me. It's about pixie dust like Bath and Body Works um, Enchanted Candy Potion, a pixie stick. This smells like a pixie stick. Next up, we have Bare Vanilla Shimmer. I always try to, when I'm ordering online, to grab things that I can't get in the in the store. I think the shimmer lotions are exclusive to online. But Bare Vanilla is just whipped vanilla soft cashmere shimmer on skin. I don't have a Bare Vanilla lotion. And of course, I just wanted a plain vanilla scent. You cannot go wrong with Bare Vanilla. Bare Vanilla is so good. It should be a staple in everybody's collection. If you like vanilla, you should definitely check this out. It is a little cashmere forward, but 
we're all snowflakes and cashmere fans here, right? So we're not, we are not afraid of a little bit of cashmere. Bare Vanilla is so good. And the shimmers aren't too bad, even though I used to not like shimmer lotions because they used to feel really exfoliating to me. I actually don't know if it's my moisturizing routine, but they have not been bothering me lately. So happy to add this to my collection. Staple, staple. If you have not tried this, what are you doing? Hurry up, go smell it. Last but certainly not least, we have Bare Vanilla Candied. This one has notes of strawberry sprinkles, marshmallow flower. It's a nostalgic twist on Bare Vanilla. You can never go wrong with Bare Vanilla. I'm thinking about starting collecting the Bare Vanilla Flankers. Um, I really like this. Definitely get the strawberry sprinkle vibe to it. It is a soft, almost like fresh vanilla like that strawberry I can't pinpoint that it's strawberry but you know you can smell a little bit of a fruity note and I feel like the strawberry mixing with that cashmere is what gives it that freshness because this definitely dries down to a vanilla and cashmere fragrance that stays true to bare vanilla but for some reason I don't know if it's like a because it's like a it's supposed to be like a cake sprinkle and it has the marshmallow. I don't know why, but when this dried down, when this dried down after like five hours of me wearing it, I legit thought somebody was spraying snowflakes and cashmere. Snowflakes and cashmere has that vanilla caramel woody scent to it. And that's what I was getting from here. It just, it smells so good. It smells so good. I bought this in the mist instead of the lotion uh, because I was hoping to be able to pair this with strawberry snowflakes and I think I'm still going to pair it with strawberry snowflakes because I don't actually like the mist that goes to strawberry snowflakes it's very plasticky mm -hmm. it smells like like plastic musk with a hint of pink strawberry on top it's definitely giving vanilla bean noel with a little strawberry powder dusted on top so that's why I got the mist to bare vanilla candied the rest of them I got in the lotion form because I'm trying to pair them with other mist that I already have I'm trying to use those up which is why I really 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 needed frost mint I used up my twisted peppermint um body cream and I used up my vanilla bare vanilla la creme lotion and so now I don't have anything minty to really pair them with the Velvet Petals candy, I had no plans for that one. I just could not resist those notes. Um, but now I'm going to pair that with Honey Wildflower, Amber Bourbon. I'm just, like I said, my lotion collection is just going to mostly consist of vanillas. That one was a sure thing for my collection. And then Bare Vanilla, I just needed a plain vanilla because, again... I want my lotions to be gourmand. So definitely taking night sip. Both of them are going back and I will probably end up getting frost mint if I like it. And the other one, I don't know, maybe I'll trade it in for either the mist to the original bare vanilla because I'm running low on it or the lotion to bare vanilla candied. So I got the lotion to warm and cozy bubbly instead of the mist because I figured warm and cozy always smells like warm and cozy and I still have the lotion in the midst of the original but I got it in a lotion because of that cotton candy note. I needed something to pair with boardwalk taffy and cotton candy clouds because I used up my lotions and body creams to that one so that's why I got the lotion in warm and cozy bubbly. Okay you guys so I'm back. It's been like a week since I filmed the first part of that video. Uh, we had the the lotion sale, which I did not go to, but I did want to get in the store and cash in my free coupon for a full kit, full size body item for $16.95. Um, so to do so, you had to make a purchase. So all I did was pick up this Vanilla Bean Noel pocket back. And then this is my daughter's purse. She got the Gingerbread Bakery. So there's that one. The reason why I went into the store is because I only wanted two lotions. I only want a backup to my snowflakes and cashmere. And I wanted to smell this year's Vanilla Bean Noel. So that's why I got the Vanilla Bean Noel pocket back. And then I got the lotion because I can actually smell this year's. So it's not a rumor. It's not for fake. It actually has 
a decent scent. It lasts a pretty long time, especially for vanilla, because vanillas do tend to be pretty light. Um, if you're not familiar with the scent notes, they are fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow kiss. Must I got the lotion because again, my coupon only went up to $16.95 and the lotions are $15.95. I believe the body cream is $17.95, but I did get the new set of coupons that expire Christmas Eve. And that is for a free full-size body care item for $17.95. Can you believe it? They actually give you enough to get something. So that's very nice and exciting. But you guys, I have not been able to smell Vanilla Bean Noel since 2020. I could not smell it in 2021. It had no scent again in 2022. So 2023, she's back. She has a scent to it. Still musky, still musky, but... I smell more than the the sweet musk smell. I feel like I kind of smell, it's not like a crunchy cookie scent, like Bath and Body Works kind of overdoes. It's not doughy like confetti cake pop, but I would say it's like the EOS vanilla cashmere cream, which is what I thought it smelled like back in 2020. But yeah, it's back to smelling like that pretty much. So I don't know what this used to smell like. I kind of want to get on Mercari and buy a super old bottle. So I can see what it used to smell like because to me it just it smells like the vanilla cashmere cream from EOS so pick that up for free so you guys know I had those two night sips to exchange and so I'll let my daughter pick something out she really wanted something the color pink so she was looking at snowdrift and then she walked over and um, saw the pure seduction cashmere we smelled them we smelled all of the fragrances actually so I do have an opinion on those as well maybe I'll do that in another video because I don't want this one to get too long but I let her choose between <laughs> pure seduction cashmere and bare vanilla cashmere because I'm not sure if this is an unpopular opinion or not but I kind of really like bare vanilla cashmere but like Bare vanillas always smell good to me. So I don't know. That's not, I guess that's not a shocker for myself, but like, I don't know. I, it didn't seem like people really cared much for bare vanilla cashmere. I don't know, whatever. So the notes of pure seduction cashmere are whipped meringue, decadent berries. It says all wrapped up in pure seduction. If there is a third note, I will get online and post it on the screen. But this one is a very, very fruity, sugary scent. It's very juicy, Kool-Aid-like. And you know what it reminds me of when it dries down? It reminds me of Thank You Next 2.0 a little bit, except it doesn't have, what is, Thank You Next has like apple in it. It's not apple juice. This is not apple juice. This is more like a red Kool-Aid scent. So swap the apple juice for like a red Kool-Aid and they smell kind of similar. This one, the meringue in here is really, really nice. I feel like Pure Seduction Cashmere is giving what Winterberry Wonder should have because, you know, Winterberry Wonder has a vanilla note in it, but I don't really get the vanilla in Winterberry Wonder too much, but I definitely get that meringue note in Pure Seduction Cashmere. So this is really nice. One thing I will say about fruity fragrances is I find them pretty cloying, but... This one smells really nice. And again, my daughter picked it out. I just figured why let her come in the store and smell everything if I wasn't going to let her decide what one of the exchanges would be. But if it were up to me, I would have just gotten a uh, bare vanilla cashmere because bare vanilla candied in the lotion, I could not smell it. And I'm not doing that. I'm not buying anything that I cannot smell in the store. And I know in the store, it's... The fragrances are competing with the entire store. You're smelling a bunch of things. Everyone around you is spraying everything. But the point is, I walked into Bath and Body Works after going to Victoria's Secret and I could still smell Vanilla Bean Noel. So that's what I'm saying. So what I went there for, which you know, I exchanged my night sips because they were supposed to be frost melts, but they came in night sip. So, you know, I feel like I've been calling Frost Melt Frost Mint. And I realized at the store that it said melt and not mint. But this one is fresh mint and chocolate. So then the back says hot chocolate, mint, and tonka. I believe online there is an extra note of pistachio, if I'm not mistaken. This fragrance 
is so good. The chocolate is not, it's not like a milk chocolate, so it's not sickly. It's really kind of nutty. Like that pistachio is is definitely present and it's not giving like a it's not giving like a cherry type scent. Sometimes pistachio smells kind of cherry to me, but I do find this to be a little bit green. And I have a few things that like I'm gonna pair this with because I'm going to use this up this winter. I'm not even going to save this one. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not keeping it. I'm not hoarding it. I'm not doing anything with it. I'm about to use this up this winter. So I'm going to make a separate video on that because I have quite a few things that have no mist to them that I feel like could really go with this. But this is definitely has like an underlining of like an, a crunchy kind of almondy cookie. This is so good. This is so nice. I'm so excited. This is what I wanted. So that's it. That's the haul. Let's get this video up. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.